Asante sana. Uh, let me take this opportunity on behalf of the people and government of Kenya and on my own behalf to welcome each and every one of you, young people from across Kenya, across Africa, and those who come from beyond, welcome to Nairobi. Um, congratulations on those who have put this summit, youth summit together. Um, I know it's taken effort, commitment, a lot of um, sacrifice to get this summit where it is today. And I want to say to all of you who made this possible, congratulations, Asante Sana, and we don't take for granted your effort. Um, I know many people have been acknowledged, but let me also acknowledge uh, Kaluki Paul, where is he? A great young man, congratulations my friend, of uh, Kenya Envirom Environment Action Network, who's made it possible for 20 young people from across the continent to attend this summit. Again, a round of applause for Paul. Many, like Paul, are making a difference in our continent and speaking to the urgency of where we are today in the context of climate change. Two months ago, under the, the Eiffel Tower, I called upon the youth of the world to join us in Nairobi to champion the global climate positive growth agenda. Witnessing brilliant young minds from across our youthful continent showcasing climate solutions that stand just an investment away from monumental scalability and impact brings me tremendous joy. I witnessed some of them when I was walking in here and it confirms to me that indeed the possibilities of the future are immense. When I see what the young people are doing, the innovations under very difficult circumstances of limited financing, limited support, and what they are achieving gives me great confidence that climate change is a challenge that we will overcome. Standing at the center of this amphitheater with Kenya nearly equidistant from the north and southern parts of Africa, I know that I am positioned at the heart of Africa representing the leaders who welcome young people from every corner of our continent. This can only be a testament to Africa emerging as the leader in driving the global shift towards climate action. I urge you, young people from our continent, to take action. Let us initiate this transformative shift together. Africa's youth, in my very honest opinion, are solution-oriented. You yearn for vibrant economy powered by green jobs, and you possess a strong determination to scale up and maximize opportunities for climate action. With the convening of the Africa Youth Climate Assembly, you have fought your way to the table. And let me tell you that it is the same fight that we are pushing, that the continent of Africa must never continue to be the continent that is a victim to climate change, the continent that complains, the continent um, 